welcome to November 6, 2008, the fifth workday of the week that we call a Thursday. And now, brother, time to get into the Lord's Care Ministry, a light shining from above, day 310 of the year 2008. Okay, brother, and it is again time to get out your Bible, wipe the dust off of it, and go to chapter and verse and read along with me. You might want to write this chapter and verse down so that you can go back and study the context at your own leisure, because if I would do that, we'd be well over the allotted time given us. So use the pause button to pause it, find chapter and verse, and then turn it back on and read along with me. Okay, we'll start with Colossians chapter 3 and verse 4. And we read, When Christ, who is our life, shall appear then shall you also appear with him in glory. Now over to John chapter 11 and verse 25. I am the resurrection and the life, and the he that is believing in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Brethren, you notice when in your King James it says, Believeth. But whenever I see an E-T-H, I put an I-N-G in its place, and an is before the word. He that is believing in me, that brings everything up to the present tense. Okay, let's go over to 1 John chapter 5, verses 11 through 12. God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He that has the Son has life, and the, he that has not the Son of God has not life. First Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 16 to 18 we read, The Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore comfort one another with these words. Now brethren, let's turn over to 1 John chapter 3 and verse 2. When he shall appear we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 43. It is sown in dishonor. It is raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. It is raised in power. 1 John chapter 14 and verse 3. If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there you may also be also. This is Christ speaking. Anticipation of the believer. Of the triumphs of the gospel. Psalms chapter 72 and verse 15. His name shall endure forever. His name shall be continued as long as the sun, and men shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call him blessed. Lord, let the thought of that bright day kindle our hopes and warm our love. Cheer us while here on earth we pray and crown our songs in heaven above. In God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men, his a Philippian pilgrim, a workman for God, a friend of Christ. Come, 
Savior, Jesus from above. Revelation 22 and verse 20. Come, Lord Jesus. Brethren, think about this. The Lord really cares. Yes, the Lord really cares. Whatever you eat, even. He gives us the dietary laws of Leviticus 11, Deuteronomy 14. He gives us His Sabbath. Not the Jew Sabbath. And not your Sabbath. In Leviticus 23 it says that His Sabbath. Not the first day of the week. The Lord really cares what day you do it. Because if you don't follow His Sabbath. If you don't follow His dietary laws then you're not following him. For he says, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you've been doing differently, and you want to change, a real change, get down on your knees and repent of not following him, but following the man down there on that corner, mortar and brick building. Brethren, Ask the Father for wisdom to understand His Word. And if you truly want to do it in your heart, from your heart, the Lord and His Son will hear you. Well, brethren, we're closing it up for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. And with that, God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.